Queen to everyone, I'm Chief Skarnak, and welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Last time, we just went through part 1 of Mount Thunder, and now in this episode, we are going to head off to the second part of Mount Thunder, Mount Thunder Peak, and hopefully we're going to make it to the top, so let us proceed. Now, Mount Thunder Peak is fairly short because it only has three floors, including the summits. And the Pokemon you find here, these are all on floors 1 through 2. It's Growlithe, Electabuzz, Ampharos, Gligar, and Manectric. So now that I got those out of the way, let's just get out of here. And ooh, a red gummy. Of course, I'm going to be giving that to Cyndaquil because he loves his red gummies. And now, yep, he's an efficiency expert. It's awesome. So that was an easy find for the stairs right there. So let's continue on with one more flight of stairs and... We should get to the summit. And I'm gonna go this way. There's a Gligar up there. It looks like it's just running around like an idiot. That doesn't surprise me. I could go in the water if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Because, but, well, it doesn't really matter anyway because here are the stairs. And a clear gummy, I'm gonna be I'm gonna eat that. Clear gummy which are good for ice types, by the way. Um I'm gonna take off uh, tackle and ember and I'm gonna turn on smoke screen. And now, checking my items, and I think I'm going to get rid of this, this plain seed, because I don't need that anymore. And let's proceed to the third floor of the Mount Thunder Peak. This is the summit. Hey Zapdos, where are you? We came to rescue Shift Tree. Come out! Whoa! And the dramatic music happens again. I warn you, I have no mercy for Metalux. Not scared. You don't frighten me. Hey Zapdos, release Shift Tree! Cyndaquil, calm down. Now this is the one problem I have with this fight. When you first fight Zapdos for the first time, your partner is going to start in that location where Cyndaquil is standing right now. Um, and unless it's a fire type that knows smoke screen, you're pretty much going to have that's just pretty much going to have a clear shot at your partner. So that's always an inconvenience I always found. But good thing Tinnacle knows smoke screen, so I can back that up. You must be determined to utter such words. Then you shall answer to my great and righteous fury. And let us begin. Now, I'm going to start this fight off by... Do I have any flash seeds? Oh, holy crap, excuse me. Um, so now, Cyndaquil used smoke screen, so now Zapdos is going to be missing, and so Ember, no, don't use Tackle, just use Ember, and let's do this. Oh, dude, don't use smoke screen Come on, use smoke screen again, thank you. Come on. And so far we're doing alright, so Zapdos just keeps missing. Uh, I'm gonna try Mudslap, even though Mudslap isn't is 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 effective against flying types, but it still does crap in this game, so I'm gonna see that. Okay, Harley, really crap. So, now Zapdos is not being effective against smoke screen, so you know what's in it, Will? Mm. Turn off Ember. So just use smoke screen, okay, buddy? And I'm just gonna water gun this thing. Alright. Alright, now, I'm gonna. Wait, now I'm going to go back to Cyndaquil. I'm going. Oh, holy crap! I'm out of smoke screen already. Oh yeah, Zapdos's ability is pressure, which means it takes two PP to use an attack on him, which is really annoying. And it's, it's like it's trying. Cyndaquil, you're really trying to use smoke screen again. You're doing good. I mean, we're doing really good. I mean, Zapdos has a burn and everything. And, oh boy. Smoke screen. Stop trying to use smoke screen. You know you can't use smoke screen anymore, buddy. So you know what? I'm gonna turn that off. Just use Ember now. I don't care. Come on. Booyah! Thank you, Cyndaquil. Jeez. You know you can't be useful when you fright. Gah. Well, what's going on? Ugh. Whoa. You want more? I'll take you on. 
enough. I did not fight. I calmed down. Take Shifuda. You kids, you've impressed me. But things will be easy next time. I will go all out next time. You best be prepared. Until then, you better hone your skills. Yeah, later on in the game, you do have the option to return to see if you could get Zatos on your team to refight him. And here we have Shiftry who just came out of nowhere. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Somehow I am. I'm glad you're safe. I need a hug. But that was an eye opener. Driving off that Zapdos. I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain Mudkip. Why, thank you, Charizard. And it's kind of weird how a level 13 Mudkip just took down a freaking Zapdos. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps you are the Pokemon, aren't you? Wow, how can you tell that? But you're right. Skarnak isn't a Pokemon. Skarnak is a human. What? A human? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I actually really like Charizard's surprise expression. I don't know why, I just found it enjoyable. Is that possible? Can something like that happen? Yeah, Tyranitar is pretty funny too, I guess. Skarnak doesn't understand very much either. Skarnak woke up in one day here as a Pokemon. And doesn't remember anything about being a human. Oh wait, Lavra said something in the square. He said Alakazam knows everything. Alakazam, can you figure out why Zapdos came? Wait, Zapdos? Skarnak! And apparently, Alakazam doesn't know. However, there's a way to unveil the truth. Oh really? How? Make your way to the Hill of Ancients. There you'll find a Pokemon that stares at the sun all day. Wow, very exciting, huh? A Pokemon who is said to see into the future. Zatu is his name. He should shed light on your puzzling friend. Okay then. Okay. We should go see Zatu. Skarnak, let's go. Out to the Hill of Ancients. We can't waste any time. Let's go back quick. Shift you too. Let's hurry back. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess we should. Whatever happened to his Nuzly? Is a team of Nuzleaf. Didn't they get captured too? But I guess not. Anyways, let's head back. Then we get this scene. Alakazam, I know you. I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. You know something, don't you? There is something that concerns me. But it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. Foreshadowing! Da da da! Would you like to save your adventure? I'm not going to save my adventure. Reasons? Well, it takes forever to explain. Skarnak, <laughs> <laughs> um, good morning! Yesterday I did some checking around. It turns out that the Hill of Ancients is apparently in the Great Canyon. The Great Canyon. Not the Grand Canyon. Yeah, not to be confused. We should go there right away. Off to the Great Canyon. Huh, what's the matter? Come on, what's in the Huh? Huh? I love how he says, huh, twice. Why are you so happy? Why were you? Huh. What are you talking about? I am talking to Cyndaquil. He's so happy. Are you kidding me? But, alright, let's go somewhere else. Someone else? Come on! Who do you think I am? Uh. We're friends, aren't we, Skarnik? I want to do my best because it's for you, Skarnik! I'll give you a hug! You see, Cyndaquil, this is what I'm talking about! You're so happy all the freaking time. Even though you can't hear me now. This is what this is about, so always let's try our best to do well. Now, let's just head to Pokemon Square to see if I can buy some crap first before we head off to the Great Canyon. Here at the Kekleon shop, I'm just going to buy a Reviver Seed. Then I'm going to check this other Kecleon. It's shiny, it's a shiny Kecleon. <laughs> let's see. This Kecleon sells TMs and orbs, so we have a track, a skateboard, petrify orb, and switcher orb. Uh, no thank you, I don't want to find any use for them, so let's just put my, all my money in the bank for now. And let's head out to the Great Canyon. Here we go. Oh, this music. This is the Great Canyon. Oh, uh, this music. Holy crap. I love this music. The peak is still the Hill of Ancients, according to Alexander, Hill of Ancients is on the 13th floor. Zatu should be there. Skarnak, let's do our best. Alrighty then, Great Canyon, here we go. Now, starting off, you guys look at some stairs, beautiful. Anyways, um, the Great Canyon has the Pokemon 
Skiploom, Dunsparce, and Banty on floor is 1 through 3, Dodu on 1 through 4, Vileplume on 4 through 6, Breloom also on 4 through 6, Murkrow on 5 through 7, Capturn on 5 through 8, Noctile on 6 through 8, Heracross 7 through 9, Ariados 8 through 11, and Tauros and Hound Doom both on 10 through 12. But anyways, we're going to take out this Vampy, and since we're going to take out the Skip Bloom, and we're going to find Torment. Um, I usually don't teach my Pokemon TMs unless it's really, really good. Um, I know later on in the game, there's an HM, you get, well, I should probably just not even keep it a secret. You get Surf after you beat the game, and Surf is required to get into some of the dungeons that you need to go into after you beat the game. And so, this is another reason why I recommend having a water top on your team so you can have a Pokemon that, knows, that can learn Surf. And, well, instead of trying to recruit a water type if you don't have a water type on your team. So, a water type in this game is a must. I consider it a must though. Because once you, de because once you defeat Zapdos, then your water, the water type is the bomb type. Um, However, the dungeon you go to once you get there with Surf, um, you're kind of screwed with the team like that. I mean, wait, I just use another Revive Um, I, I have tried teams with Water and Grass, and they work okay. They're the, they're the, uh, the second best team I can recommend, besides Water and Fire. But that one particular dungeon is, is kind of... Uh, my Achilles heel when it comes to the team of water and fire. But other than that, water types are great in this game once you get past Zapdos. And also, if you have one TM in particular, and if you teach it to your water type, this game becomes cake. Um, and however, I have a feeling I'm probably not going to be getting it until much, much, much later in grades, just keeps poisoning on me and just nearly took out all my life. So, thank you so much. Well, uh, I'm going to quickly eat an orange berry so I don't die again. Uh, but yeah, this one TM I really, really want. I'm not going to be getting it. I'm not going to be getting it for a while. In fact, I'm not sure where you can get it. I might have to look into it though. But for now, I'm just going to be throwing gravel rocks and have Zenithro take out the grass type because that's his specialty. Even though there really aren't any grass type bosses. So, we have knocked out here, and Cyndaquil's just being a beast. You see, this is what I love about having teams with water and fire, with the, with the moves Water Gun and Ember. Water Gun and Ember are amazing together. Um, I once played through an entire record without, by just using Water Gun and Ember. I think it was a team with just me playing as a Cyndaquil and um, my partner being a third out. Actually, to be, completely, to be completely honest, this is my first time doing a team with Mudkip and Cyndaquil. I played as Mudkip and Cyndaquil both many times before, but I've never had them on the same team together. Whenever I play as Mudkip, I always have like either Torchic or Charmander. I never really had Cyndaquil, so that's another reason why I chose Cyndaquil over Charmander, because I wanted to try it out. But anyways, um, just trying to get through this dungeon. Here we have a Heracross, and oh no, I hate Endure. Endure stays on the enemy for several turns, and it never dies until it's worn off. Seriously, come on. <sighs> for the love of Arceus! Great, that's just beautiful. Just stop having Endure, thank you. Let's take him out with attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I leveled up to level 14. That's beautiful. And Cyndaquil grew up to level 14. That's awesome. But I'm, but I'm going to stop right here. I'll see you guys next time on, on Let's Play Pokemon Rescue Dragon Rescue Team, where we hopefully get to the Hill of Ancients. Until then, I'm Chief Skarnik. Sayonara.